we teach our children to remain mindful in what oh, it seems yes. like in an environment that that takes that away from them? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, I think that one of the things that we need to do is to teach children and adults at work even to learn conditionally. What that means is that you preface things with, in my view, or some may see, or it would seem, or it could be, rather than it is. Always suggesting that there are other potential views of whatever is being discussed. And then when the child gets a little older, you tell them explicitly that when you're taught one in one is two by analogy, that they should hear it as under some circumstances this is true. Whatever lessons that any of us are given as children or adults that are given in this absolute way needs to be changed, needs to become more conditional. When it's made conditional, so we see, yes, yeah, sometimes yes, sometimes no, we stay tuned in. And we're doing some work in schools now. Hopefully, at some point, schools will change. Teachers will, you know, and teachers would be much more comfortable, actually, with teaching conditionally rather than acting as if they know all the answers. You know, when I grew up in the field, um, it was a pleasure to go from an assistant professor where I thought I had to know everything and knew I didn't know everything, to recognizing that I can't know everything, and that's fine. You know, so uh, same thing with doctors. Doctors speak to their patients with this absolute message much of the time, and they shouldn't because they can't know. And when you teach people in this conditional, mindful way, this it would seem like from one view and so on, it brings the other person into the discussion and makes everything much more interesting for everybody. 